And you and I have, over the years, talked about this a little bit, but Parkinson's. I notice your information and almost every doctor I see that even addresses the inflammation uh, relates it right away to Alzheimer's, but seldom to Parkinson's. Can you discuss Parkinson's? Oh, well, a Parkinson's bit? is a, 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 you know, Alzheimer's is kind of a global inflammation. Parkinson's is inflammation in a certain part of the brain where basically the dopamine of receptors are located. Um, but it's a neuroinflammatory disease. And that's why my most famous Parkinson's patient was probably uh, Pope John Paul II. Uh, because Parkinson's, how you treat it, two ways. One, reduce inflammation. And we'll talk about this on Friday. Uh, drugs don't cross the blood-brain barrier very effectively. But fish oils do. They just go right through there like a, you know, a butter, a warm knife going through warm butter. Just, you know, there's no barrier. So you, they get in there to reduce the inflammation. Second thing about Parkinson's is that what happens, you, the cells that produce dopamine are being specifically destroyed. So one of the things about fish oil, what it does, it increases dopamine production. That's why it's so effective in treating ADHD and also Parkinson's. So again, that if you're a Parkinson patient, uh, then basically high levels of fish oil becomes a very effective way to stabilize the condition. So if a person who had that, could they take, just keep taking fish oil until they start developing diarrhea and then back off? Well, again, I, I would you know, be now for our new blood test, which I'll describe Friday, taking that fish oil until you get in that right range and just hold it.